Mike Rob, and welcome to Axel's Garage. Today, or tonight, this evening, I got the little big dummy behind the camera. The rain stopped, finally. And we got our 2020 Ram here, and we are going to try to put in a bed rug, bed liner, and a backflip uh, cover on it. Now, we have the, the cover and the bed liner from our 2017 Ram. Now, this is the new body style in 2020. The manufacturers of those items claim that there is a new part number for the 2020s because of the redesign. We did a little Googling. The bed dimensions seem to be the same lengthwise and widthwise, but they're a little, it's an inch deeper this way. So the bed rug could potentially be an inch short when it's going up the sides. We'll see what that looks like. The bed cover they claim doesn't fit. Now, I Googled on Ram's websites to get the dimensions of each of those two five seven beds and the length width dimension is exactly the same as the 17 18 19 classic so on the five seven bed they're the same on, on the six uh four bed or the six two bed whatever it is but that bigger bed the dimensions are a little different so we're gonna now take out i will all we did was we wiped this out here and Steven. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember where I was? No, I don't. To be completely honest. All right, we got sidetracked. I don't remember where I was. Um, oh, <clears throat> I think I remember where I was. We were at the the two beds are different. So I went on some of the forums, and some of the forums claim that 1720 the bed cover will fit. We're gonna try it out. So the first thing we're gonna do here. Oh, I know where I was. You know where I was, Steve O. We were talking about what I did to it. So we picked up the truck last night. Of course, it rained last night uh, after we got home. It rained all day today. And so I dried out the the bed and um, any spots where they got some dirt from the trees or something from the overnight and the rainstorm. Um, took a damp rag, cleaned it all out so that at least you're putting the bed liner in on a clean bed. You're not getting leaves and debris or anything in there. So I'm going to grab the bed rug. And that's a, a bed rug that we bought in 17 when we had the 17 Ram, and that we actually bought that second hand. The guy had used it for like a month or two, didn't really care for it, and wanted to go to a hardliner. So that uh, that bed rug wasn't new to us, but it was pretty new. We got it on, it was good Craigslist, local Craigslist find, which you gotta love when you get that. It was like 100 bucks the guy sold it for. He went with the hard plastic liner. The bed rug we had for three years in the other Ram and loved it. So without any more of my yapping, because I know there's gonna be people, the video starts at 410. Um, we're gonna get the uh, bed rug out, and we're gonna start with the bottom this. side the bed rug this is now that I've had it for three years it is a well-used bed rug these are the adhesive velcro strips that were on it initially and all I'm doing is just making sure you got any bits like this stuff off so. well let's you off all right and you can see right here I don't know where this came from. There must have been something metal that was like falling apart or rusting. Or well, maybe we put something in here. Then it rained, probably. Yeah, but it was definitely some like metal sh shavings or metal filings. And it like stuck to the thing, so I'm just going to try to get some of that off. Let me get some of that off, and I'll be right, right back with you. Metal crumble off making sure it's reasonably clean just take this and we can slot it in so this end goes towards the back drop the towels we're gonna slot it in and that fits so We know our dimensions are pretty good because this thing definitely fits pretty much the same as the other one did. We might have to cut these corners if we want to come yeah. over here, Steve-O. We might have to slice these corners a little bit more. We had to slice them in the old one. That's just part of the uh, the way the, the line goes in. Right now we're going to put that back panel in the back panel 
um, Velcro. So now what happens is there's a, a wide piece of Velcro that half is going to go on here on the underside of this and half is going to go on the other panel and that's what holds the different panels together and the Velcro strips are on the two side panels and the front panels. So we'll work on that front panel first, okay? No, I had it on. So here's that same corner. I must have had something in the bed that had metal shavings that rusted. And we, I didn't even notice much of this when we took it out because it was getting dark when we actually took it out of the old truck. So here you have this Velcro. It's about, say, an inch and a half or two inches, inch and three quarter, maybe. And half of it goes on, sticks right on this side and half on the other one. Now, if you saw when I was taking the Velcro off that was on the bottom of this, that came with it and it wasn't sticky and I just threw it in and I never Velcroed the bottom down. And that was this, um, and pretty much they sell the Velcro that comes with it, but you could go to a uh, hardware store and just get the industrial Velcro and you're only gonna use the, the plasticky side, this side here. So this is self-adhesive Velcro, and it sticks right to this. So you don't even, you know, you're not going to use the other side of it. But um, I am not going to Velcro the back end down because that back end pretty, pretty much stays in. Its own weight holds it down. It really doesn't move too much. Once you get the side panels in and the back panel in, it really didn't move around even when we had stuff in there. So I'm not too concerned with that because I know when we did take it out, it leaves adhesive behind, and we had to, uh, we had to do some some goo gone and, and, uh, and chisel them with our fingernails to get the adhesive off. So this pretty much, this is the toughest part of it. If you could set it up on the ground, if you have like a nice nice clean ground to set it up on, um, that would be the best way to go. But You right there, old man? Yeah, I'm just wiping my feet off, so drink dirt a little bit. But as I'm um, being today, you can't even do it on the grass. Like I would have done it on the grass, but it rained like all night and, and most of the day today, so that's really not too much of an option. So I'm going to try to do it in the truck. Which getting this on shouldn't be too much trouble. It's going to be, the trouble is going to be uh, getting the side panels on. They're going to give us a little, a little light. So, pretty much I'll hold this back, I'll put this in, can you grab that close? Mm -hmm. Should be able to put it in like that. Oh, look at that. It's not too bad. So though. the bed is actually, on the inside, a little narrower. But you're right, it's not too bad. So, we are going to take this and we're going to right down into the Velcro. Like that. And now it's on that Velcro. This was on. Now this, you could give it a little, a little cut if you want to, but I, I don't think it's necessary. All right? And now we got to try to try to shimmy one of the sides in. So I'm gonna grab that. Well, actually. Yeah, okay, so at this point, the sides are gonna go in, but just thinking ahead of what we're doing is we need access to the drain hole for the, the cover, the, the backflip G2 cover that we have. So in all the videos I've seen and in the, the trucks that come from the dealer with a bed cover on them, they're using this hole. So the hose actually goes like this. I'm wondering if we could use this hole. If this hole goes all the way down past there, because it would be much better just to have a little short elbow in it and it wouldn't take a broom that we, you know, shove it back in there and either crush the hose or knock it off of the, the nipple that it goes on. Yep. I'm just gonna come in here with a giant cable tie and see if I could. Can... Yep. Okay. So both of these holes can be used as drain holes, which makes me happier because now I can bring the tube out from the nipple, which will be about right here or so, and right into there, and it's not gonna you know, be in the way of the tie down or anything like that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on this side. This is a little tricky because you can't, 
Actually, we can but undo the Velcro here. So I'll undo it a little bit. Actually, if I... That's fine. Yeah. All right, so now we make sure we got some Velcro to bite on. Okay, we'll slide it out a little. So there are some subtle differences, and I guess that's why they offer different part numbers. And I'm gonna slice that enough to where it's gonna go down like this. So this wants to go like that. I think this is sloped more. Yeah. What we'll do is we'll put a piece of Velcro here, here, and over here to hold everything in place. Yeah, we'll just repeat that same step on that side. This one's got a cutout, and I did have a cutout if you want to come around and see though. I did have a cutout. This is where the bed lights went. They're in the old right, truck so now that we, we got have. it in. Um, it is sagging right here, but this might get caught up in the cover. It didn't sag over there on the other one. Um, but if so, we could just put um, one, two, a couple little pieces of Velcro on this panel right here, and it'll be right on it. But what we want to do now is get the side rails on of the bed cover so that we can cut our opening over there for the drain holes and get them all installed. So I'm going to get those side rails, we'll get some tools, and we'll get set up. I'm not going to worry about a couple pieces of Velcro to hold this thing down until the end when we see where it's lifting, where it's moving. All right, so we got our rail. That's the nipple I was talking about. I have all these and all the backflip ones. It's the drain, so the water will drain into this channel here. It'll drain, drain into this channel here and down into the spout there. So, so this is going to go on like this forward to the bulkhead as possible. There's a rubber tab right here so you're not jamming it into your paint. Um, and I think there's a sandwich. I got a feel over there and see if it uh, sandwiches the bed binder in place. Alright, but uh, can you think you can hold this in one hand just until I get one of the clamps on? Clamps. Alright, they have teeth on them and you slide it up, you grab the the rail, the accessory mounting rail on the, the truck bed, along with the rail on this, and you put them in. You're going to go one at either end and one in the middle. The one at that end is going to come um, just in front of where that nipple is, because otherwise the bolt head is in the way of the nipple. So you get it in those grooves there, and you just make it it would be like hand tight and then you're supposed to give it a shot down right which seats it in the next groove and that smushes the gasket down and then give it just another little oomph to hold it in place don't make it real tight yet and then we can move right the on the middle one, one. Go just in front of your tab to um, 
that's the tab that holds your prop rod and then get it in there hand tight and then give it just a little more than hand tight and then again same thing give it a smack down and see it didn't bounce back up once I smacked it down and then you can give it another little another little crank right, and the same thing in the back into the grooves and I'm gonna put this one not all the way to the end where it's rubbing against the, the bed itself so I'll space it like in a little bit finger width off the end here give it a little tighten you could see when I went to tighten it, it pushed up a little and then you give it a bang like that and it came down and now, give it a tighten. Now this one, you can give it a final tighten. Nice and snug. Doesn't have to be crazy tight. Just nice and snug. Sorry, Steve-O. All right, and then you just repeat the process on the other rail. All right, so. Do your best to estimate where that hole is, and then we're gonna poke through. Can't really see it. No. It's too dark. So we'll get a hole like that, and that lines up good. So let me cut it the rest of the way off. slipping and slicing my finger open. I just want to make it a little bigger. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this we're going to feed it through the hole if we can get this through. Uh, There we go, okay. okay. And now we can pull it out just enough to plug it in up top right there. There we go, and that's nice, neat, and out of the way. I really like the way that. Now, if you notice, this is actually holding the back of the bed rug here against the bulkhead. So we're good here. We just might have to put some Velcro in the middle. Now, we'll do the same thing on the other side. Need me to go through in the middle? Then we just kind of center it. So all we did was just pop it down on top, forward facing, and uh, yeah, I'm doing a video too. So these these screws they call them elevator screws. I don't know why, but uh, well, elevator bolts. But this goes in, and then uh, goes into those brackets that are on the end of the rails. And you just want it to be as far forward so that it's sitting on that bulkhead seal. Uh, Okay. All right, so you put it in less than hand tight, just so that it makes contact, and then... So you're just going to cover it 
down, make sure it's you gotta, they, want, they want you to make sure it's it's uh, centered also. So they said each panel, because the panels can move slightly on the rubber from side to side. Oh. So they said as you go, make sure you might have to move it this way or this way. I got you. But yeah, if it locks in though, it should kind of center itself and then you can tighten it. You see? Fucking see, it's not just me. It's not just me. The other night I stopped over, I got eaten alive. I was here for fucking 40 minutes. It's not me. It's not just me. When was that? When you first got it. When I picked up my truck. Oh, did I... you get eaten alive? Fucking <laughs> retarded. All right. So that was pretty good. This little bit of rubber you have here, where is it lined up on that side? See this little flap? Yeah. It like meets up with the piece that's underneath it. This one's just over that. Yeah, you got like rubber on rubber. Rubber on rubber, just yep. about. Yep. Let me look on that side. You had to fold it up a couple of days? Yeah. Like that? Which actually should come over a little. Just this little panel? Yeah. That's not, that's not too bad. That panel looks straight. That's all. Look, look at that one. That one actually looks straight. Okay. The only thing I have to do now is take a couple pieces of Velcro, of that adhesive Velcro, and I'm going to put some over here just to hold this panel tight. And I'm going to put maybe one or two across the, on the floor, just some small tabs, just to hold it down so it doesn't move. Same thing on, the other, on this panel on the other side. And then on the tailgate, there's another panel that lays right on the tailgate, and I'm just going to put maybe one, two, three across the top, one on either side, and maybe two on the bottom just to hold it so that it doesn't move around. And we'll so get that's to all go. we were losing the lights. So that's all we got today for Axel's Garage. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a comment. If you if you've done something like this, put the uh, the classic style body stuff on a, a new body style truck. Let me know how it worked out for you. This is the way it worked out for us. Hopefully. Everything will be nice and dry with those drain hoses finally installed the right way. And uh, that's it. So drop a comment, hit that like button, feed YouTube's algorithm, and it's, uh, it's beer time for me. We'll see you on the next video.